at the RWTH Aachen, feeding experiments are being conducted with caterpillars. The small larvae have a very special diet. They are supposed to consume defined amounts of pollen from genetically modified Bt maize. Meshti Leshepna wishes to find out how sensitively caterpillars react to this. First, small slices of nettle leaf are cut with a mold. Nettle leaves are an important source of food for caterpillars. A pollen solution in a variety of concentrations is made and then applied to the leaf slices. From 100 to a maximum of 1,000 pollen grains should be eaten by the caterpillars with the leaf slices. Before the experiment, they are weighed to begin with. For a whole day, the larvae are able in this way exclusively to eat the leaf slice in the Petri dish. Afterwards, they receive their normal food. Their further development is precisely observed and the number of test animals that die is determined. After about a week, when they are in the last larval stage before pupating, they are weighed once again. In the space of a week, their weight has increased 10 to 20 fold. The caterpillars will be fed further with nettle leaves until they finally pupate. Meshtil Schöpene breeds her test animals herself. She has been able to establish a breeding program with a butterfly known as the little tortoise shell. For the butterflies, a variety of flowering plants are grown from which they can suck the nectar. In addition, they receive a honey solution. Now, when they go like that with their hind parts underneath, they're laying. On the undersides of the leaves, the females deposit their egg clusters. The caterpillars are fed with nettle leaves in the breeding program as well. They eat nothing else. Since they are able to move very fast, the larger ones must be kept in cages and otherwise would quickly get out of control. Tomorrow it will all look like this. Hanging here from a moist paper towel, a caterpillar is in the act of pupating. August 2009. In order to find out how much pollen in the open field factually lands on the food plants of caterpillars, Meshtil Schöpner now has set up pollen traps for the flowering maize at different distances to the edge of the field. The petri dishes are changed each day. They are filled with a gel to ensure that the pollen adheres well. Parallel to the pollen traps, we've set up nettle plants. We want to know how much pollen is on the leaves at all and can be consumed by the larvae. Once a day, leaf samples are taken from the nettles. Then in the lab, a count is made of how many pollen grains may be found per square centimeter in the traps and on the leaves. Most importantly, Nettle leaves must be counted at once, since they dry up very quickly and the pollen no longer adheres well. Pollen grains are concentrated primarily along the veins. This much may already be said. As expected, the quantity of pollen decreases very sharply according to distance, and this is significantly more the case in the main wind direction. It is interesting that many more pollen grains adhere in the traps than due to the nettle leaves.